Staring at the ceiling while I'm wide awake. Start to get the feeling it's about to break down. And now look back at everything you did for the people. Let your manners speak for you. Nice. I have a script. There you go. Are we ready? Yes, we are, queen. What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a bit different. Uh, I saw many videos like this one on YouTube. So I thought, why not to try? First of all, I want to apologize for my pronunciation, for my grammar, for everything that I'm going to say in this video. So, sorry in advance, this is a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm Jessica and I make YouTube videos in English because it's one of the languages that I love the most. I think I started to being obsessed with English when I was little and my first TV series was Buffy the Vampire Slayer when I was in middle school and I started to watch it in English with subtitles and I still remember that I learned a word uh, and this word was alas. I use it at school and my teacher said, oh my god, very well, Jessica. Then I started to talk in English with my dogs and also by myself, like crazy people do. Sometimes I write uh, the groceries list in English, which is, by the way, can be an exercise for if you are learning new vocabularies. Uh, but as you may or may not know from my vlogs and videos with my friends and also by my, my pronunciation, that English is not my main language. My native language is Italiano. Infatti io sono italiana e uh, non mi piace parlare in italiano nei miei video, non so perché. Forse perché penso che in inglese riesca a raggiungere più persone, in più mi piace, quindi ho unito due cose. Come sapete mi piace molto viaggiare, sono stata in diversi paesi, tra cui New York, che è sempre stato il mio sogno, sono stata in Norvegia, ad Oslo, in Germania, in Spagna, in Francia, anche perché sia dalle superiori e anche adesso all'università, oltre all'inglese, studio altre due lingue e una di queste è il spagnolo. Però non tengo nadie con chi praticare il mio spagnolo e per questo non è molto fluido e, e claro. E lo che mi assusta della gente è es che que dicono Oye, come? Il spagnolo è tan simple? Tu solamente tienes che aggiungere una S al final delle parole? Tu puoi parlare in spagnolo, puoi entendere in spagnolo, però hai alcune cose che sono differenti. E per questo io os dico che se non approvate un esame la prima vez o la seconda, o la terza, sigue intentando, perché al final tutto va a salir bene. Otro idioma che io studio è il francese. Je studio il francese depuis de 10 ans, ma je n'ai personne con chi parla francese, je l'ho oublié. Je studio l'anglais, il francese e spagnolo in l'università, ma ho due lingue che sto in train di studiare per me même. Una di queste due lingue è il norsk. Io studio il norsk per internet, per hand. Per di, io voglio andare in Norge, in London, ma per oggi blicchiare per i in Italia, certo per scom de norske tv serien. Jeg elsker den. Jeg synes norsk virker som blending av tysk og engelsk. Jeg vil også gjerne lære deutsch. Hallo, jeg heiser Jessica. Jeg er 26 år alt. Jeg lever i Deutschland. Jeg har denne boken gekauft. And yeah, when I went to Germany, my friends tried to teach me German words and sentences like Ich will mit dir sprachen Why I still have this Norwegian pitch and rhythm in my mind? Ah. Let's say I started at university to start to study Germany, but I found it too hard So I decided to quit and continue with Spanish that I already studied 
but I didn't quit in my mind because uh, I bought this in Germany, which is for kids. Let me read you something with my perfect German skills. Mein Sohn, du bist nun alt genug, um in die Geheimnisse des Sch Schatzhüttens, Schatzhüttens eingeweiht zu, eingeweiht zu wer werden. Sprach Drago. Der alte Drache eine Tags zu Coco, dem jungen Drachen. And yeah, I was really into it. I wrote as many translations as I could. So this was my book, the first year of uh, university when I started German. So it's the level A1, A2. Yes, because I actually I passed the German exam, um, but then I decided to quit. So this was the book that I had at the first year of university, and it's like this. Uh -huh. I decided to start studying it online and I bought this one. A few years ago I thought that it would be a good idea to find you know, the main sentences for every language. So I did it for Russian, Chinese, Korean, uh, Japanese, uh, Greek. But I genuinely wanted to do this thing for every language. like. How are you? What's your name? Where is the supermarket? What time is it? And this sort of things. But yeah, I never studied them. I can maybe say something in uh, Russian. <laughs> um, I really do love the Russian language and I really do want to learn it. Uh, but first I have this too. So I can say um, Spasiba Kaktivyazavut uh, Katila. Sorry again for my pronunciation, my grammar and everything. Uh, but I just wanted to do a um, different video. So I hope you enjoyed it and tell me where are you from. I will be happy to read your comments. Subscribe, leave a like and follow me on Instagram. I will leave you the name here of my Instagram page. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!